All right, guys. Wanted to include you in on what I'm doing with the Lord, and it may help some people. So here, I put on the very top by God's grace, because the Bible says you can do nothing without the Lord. Right? You can't accomplish. You can set out plans, but it's by His grace that you ever get to carry it out. When well, a lot of us know this, I'm not gonna go take that rabbit hole and give examples or not, but. A lot of us know it's by God's grace that we get anything accomplished effectively and accurately. So here we go. Vow, offering, sacrifice, and request. These are a few groups that I'm going to start writing down under the vow. One, two, three, four, five, going to, you know, maybe ten. Offerings, the same thing. The sacrifice, the same thing. And then I'm going to ask for what I want. Right? Um... This is stuff that, that gets me lined up with, with my Christian faith, with my Christian walk, gets me closer to the Lord, gets me on fire, as a matter of fact. It, it challenges me, but it also, I put things on the altar for God to see as gifts and offerings and sacrifices, right? Uh, on top of this, you know, you're looking for Him in the secret place. You're living a righteous life, right? So it's not just this and then everything else is no no there's there's things that that are by default a lifestyle of god and that's living right and seeking god every day those two things you can you can't take off the table that's every day okay and what you could do as an example is you can set a time that you seek god uh every day at a specific time write it down um you could write it down like from two to three every day, you know. I'm going to seek God uh, intentionally. Uh, that word intentionally is close down every distraction and, see, and put Him first in priority. Uh, silence your phone and for one hour, even if you don't feel God, even if you don't hear from God for that one hour, at least let God know, I'm going to be here for one hour seeking you and it's a start for those that want to start doing it it's a start and I guarantee you you won't go through that too many times until God starts to meet you and you start to see the fruit and develop a you know a very very awesome relationship with the Lord so a couple of examples on what I plan to write down in here is step up my game with uh with evangelism you know uh i was thinking 50 uh pass out 50 uh salvation cards let me see if i can find my salvation cards just so you can see i made a thousand of them i have them here i believe uh give me one second <sighs> yeah well this is the old one i have new ones it says, it's very simple. This is the old one. Salvation found in Jesus Christ. And the, and the back side is a little note to them saying you're very special to him. He wants you to ask him in your life. You'll never be the same. So um, I was thinking pass out 50 of these and write it down here as a, as a vow or an offering or a sacrifice. Which, whichever it falls under. Um, you know, uh, fasting is another. Fasting will go under sacrifice. Um, offering would be my service, uh, my time, my, uh, you know, like, uh, like being an usher at church as an example, or, um, just serving the public, serving any, in, in any category, period. Doesn't have to be at church. I could serve, uh, you know, the public in any kind of form or shape. So I would think about that and I'll write it down under the offerings. And I'll say, look, God, I'm going to do this for you. And I'm going to do, I don't know, say 10 people, right, or uh, on, on this regard, right? I'm going to look for 10 people that need, uh, you know, help with putting away the groceries uh, in Walmart, you know. And I'm going to go up to them. And I'm making a very silly example because I probably won't do that. But I'm making an example. Um, and so you already see where I'm going with this. It's like... I'm going to write down things, and in the very end, there's going to be a request. 
Um, I, 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 for one, uh, will, will uh, be requesting the Lord for certain things that, that have been on the back burner. Uh, things that, that I haven't been able to get. Uh, you know, and so I'm going to put a, a sacrifice behind it. And all that does is that it just, it just uh, puts a rocket behind uh, your request. Um, so, you know, the Lord's like, yeah, you know, look. So God is just, He's faithful, and He will not allow all of these things to go uh, to go unnoticed. And so when you ask Him for that or right over there, He's going to be like, wow, yeah, for sure, give it to them. Uh, and put a rush on it, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, no, guys, this is the first time I'm going to be doing this. Uh, I've always done this. I've lived a life of doing these things, but out of my head. So meaning, um, it hasn't been organized like this. It hasn't been like, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to check it off like a homework assignment kind of thing. I've never done this before, but I'm excited to do it because, you know, it just it keeps me accountable, right? And I'm going to give myself grace. In other words, it's not going to, like, I'm not going to put a time limit on it. I'm not going to make it in such a rigid way where I can't accomplish it. For example, if I say I'm going to save 50 souls, I'm not going to, uh, you know, and I didn't get 50 souls in that one day, let's say, then I'm, I'm, you know, I will fulfill the 50 souls the next day, so to speak. But eventually 50 souls will be one. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can make this in any which way you want. But the Bible says, and this part is key. The Bible says, do not be a fool and vow to God and don't complete what you vow. He doesn't take pleasure in fools. So, in other words, God takes your vows. He takes your, you know, what you say seriously. He's a man of his word. He does not lie. So, when you come to him, you say, God, I'm going to do this. Make sure that whatever you say you're going to do, you're able to do. Don't choose something that's so difficult that you never get to do it and the vow stays like that. You know, I'm just gonna you know, I'm just saying what the Bible says. The Bible says do not don't even utter it. Don't even mention it, don't even put it on the table if you're not gonna do it. So that's why I'm I I'm kinda giving you the heads up of, you know, by God's grace. And then also put the bar in such a way where in the very beginning you're able to do whatever you and then start raising the bar from there so guys that's uh all that i wanted to say about this it's an idea for you to try as well it's only going to spice up your relationship with the lord it's going to make it all the more gratifying and fruitful and closer to you you're going to become a trailblazer so to speak and um yeah it's just it's a wonderful thing, you know, all around. So, if it speaks to you, go ahead and try it. And let me know in the comments how it went for you. Because I I believe it's a slam dunk. I believe it's going to be one of those things that inevitably you're going to reap uh, blessings out of this. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt that if you start to do these things for God... That it will get you closer to the Lord. That He will bless you for it. And you will feel like, man, this is really cool, man. This is cool. I like this. I'm going to keep doing this. God bless you guys.